Today, I want to talk to you about the difference between public relations strategy and public relations tactics. PR strategy and communication strategy are two terms that are often bandied about by PR and communication professionals as buzzwords to make them sound like they understand the language of the boardroom or the C-suite. But how often do the people using the terms strategy and tactics really understand what they are talking about? Or are we just getting tied up in semantic knots by trying to define them? as surely all that matters is if it works or not. That's exactly why understanding the difference between PR strategy and PR tactics matters, because often it's the difference between success and failure. To quote Sun Tzu, strategy without tactics is the slowest route to victory. Tactics without strategy are the noise before defeat. Unless you're clear about the difference between objectives, strategy and tactics, then you risk failure. So to use, give you a good example, if your objective is what you want to achieve, so you might want to celebrate your 40th birthday party next year with a house party for friends and family. Your strategy is how you want to achieve it. You'll rent a house that's big enough to host all the guests. Your tactics are going to be how you implement your strategy. So that's going to be things like researching possible houses, booking the house, researching train options, booking time off work, inviting friends and family, etc. If a big enough house isn't available on the right dates, then you can change tactics. For example, you could take over a small hotel, you could change the dates, or you could change the number of guests that you're inviting. If affordable train tickets aren't available, you could compare getting there with the cost of flying. Your tactics should always be as flexible as possible. If one doesn't work, then stop and try something else. If you're prevented from doing one, then do another. A single tactic shouldn't be a failure point in your strategy. So what's your PR strategy? One of the services I provide as a public relations com consultant is to review and re improve public relations and communication strategies. Unfortunately, that's a lie. It's a service that I rarely provide. I do get paid for doing it, but I don't do it very often. The reason I don't do it very often is I'm really rarely given a communication or public relations strategy to review. I'm usually presented with a calendar activities, budgets, reports, etc. A communication plan with a list of tactics is not the same as a communication strategy. This means that what I usually do isn't to review an improved PR strategy, but to help clients to clarify what their objectives are and to identify what their strategy should be. One of the main reasons that PR and communication practitioners often jump straight into brainstorming ideas about what to do is because tactics are things you can actually see and touch and do, where a strategy is invisible. Or to quote Sun Tzu again, all the men can see the tactics I use to conquest, but none can see is the strategy out of which great victory is evolved. Another mistake that people often make is to think that strategy is long-term and tactics are short-term. While this might sometimes be true, it's an incomplete explanation and therefore it's wrong. If your objective is to win an election in two months' time, then your strategy that you choose to win is short-term. Equally, using tactics in the four-year run-up to an election would be long-term. Tactics often fail, but that doesn't matter as tactics are expendable. If a tactic fails, you can abandon it. If one tactic fails or isn't as successful as you hoped, then just try another. What you shouldn't do is abandon your strategy. If you've set your strategy right, you shouldn't need to change it. It should be set in stone, unless there are fundamental changes in the marketplace or the environment at which you operate in.